Most voters are aware that there's a wild race, but what I'm hearing is that people are really surprised at how soon they're going to vote. With ballots going out in just a couple of weeks, Jessen Farrell knows time is limited to raise her profile in a crowded competitive race that will go from 21 to 2 after August 1st. I think that there's a real chance. There's a lot of momentum. We have great endorsements. Just this week, she received the backing of the prize machinist union, one of several labor endorsements that have gone her way since she stepped down from her job as state representative to focus on the mayoral race full time. We are definitely trying to turn this into a two a two woman race, um, and you know clearly kind of uh, eating into that McGinn support is what we're trying to do. There's no doubt. I mean, I've worked on transit issues, land use, environmental issues. And I think that being a public school mom with three kids, um, two of whom are in public school, I think that's a profile that people care about. I'm the only person in the race who's talking about child care. An issue she would like Seattle to lead on. I believe that no family should be paying more than 10 percent of its uh, income on child care. And I think by 2020, we can be making really big improvements to getting towards that goal. While Farrell also lists public education and transit as priorities in her campaign, affordable housing and homelessness are at the top. So I would love to see a plan that basically has affordability all throughout the city, where every single neighborhood is um, uh, on the hook for having some degree of housing diversity and where we're using the whole array of tools that uh, we can. Jessen Farrell went into much greater detail and we have our extended interview online. She talked about housing, homelessness, as well as addressing traffic and gridlock. And we have all of our interviews, extended interviews, with the top mayoral candidates. Just go to king5.com and they will be there for you to watch over the next month. In the newsroom, I'm Natalie Brand, King 5 News.